It's like I don't have that much batteries, so this may be a really quick video, but today I am going to be talking about my favorite books of 2019 and my worst books of 2019. I don't have these in any particular order, so I have three favorites for the year. And my first favorite was Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson. And this is nonfiction. And I really, really, really love this. It was definitely a five star read. So this one is about this lawyer, Brian Stevenson. He kind of dedicates his life to defending people that have wrongfully been accused of crimes or that are on death row or people that have been through like racial injustice because some people have committed like really small crimes or like, I don't know, it's like things where you're like, okay, that person's obviously not like guilty to where they have to spend like 20 years in jail or something so um kind of cases like that and most of the cases they're pretty much innocent and they're just serving like a lifetime and he's just fighting for these people's freedom one of the main cases they talk about is about this guy named walter and he was basically serving all this time in jail for a crime that he didn't commit so brian stevenson was trying to help him out and i don't know i won't say any spoilers but they're coming out with a movie. Well, it actually came out in December, but not near me. So I think that they're going to release it um, sometime in January at the movie theater near me. And I definitely recommend reading this if you're into law or if you're into like racial injustice and stuff like that. I'm really into that stuff. So this is definitely a must read. Next is Nas for a 2 by Joe Hill. And the more I talk about this to other people the more I realize that this needs to be a five star read because I rated it a 4.5 but I think I'm going to change it to a five star but I really really love this if you like Stephen King but you didn't like how some of his books dragged on or you tried one book by Stephen King and it kind of dragged and you didn't like that it was slow you need to try Joe Hill and you need to try this book Nosferi 2 really fast paced like this seems like it's a big book it's over 600 pages but you will fly through this book so this one is about this lady named victoria and when she was younger she almost got kidnapped by this crazy lunatic charlie manx and he drives around in his rolls royce and he crazy so he attempted to kidnap victoria and failed she escaped charlie manx um went to jail back then when he tried to kidnap her and stuff and um he's been in jail ever since but then he breaks out and he's looking for her and someone from her past tells her that he's broken out and stuff and she doesn't believe it and she also has powers where she can kind of like teleport kind of um i don't know i feel like that's mentioned towards the beginning so I don't know if it's that much of a spoiler but I would say she has what we like to call the shining so like a special powers if you've read the shining or doctor sleep you probably kind of know what I'm talking about about the shining and the powers but this kind of I feel like I don't know if they did it on purpose but if you've read doctor sleep um this Charlie makes just seems like he's part of the true knot it, it really seems like that so if you read that then you know what I'm talking about but he seems like he's one of the true not people the people that like find children that have like the shining and suck like feed on that so I don't know if that's meant to be like if he really is part of the true not I don't know so this ended up being really really fast paced I flew through this I listened to a little bit on audiobook when I would um, walk the dogs because I could not put it down so I had to keep going on audiobook when I would walk the dogs and the audiobook is I will say really 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 good and I can't stand audiobook it's really hard for me to find someone that I really like to narrate my book so if you want someone that will literally transform into all the different characters then you need to listen to Nosferi 2 on audiobook but I prefer reading it I will definitely reread this in the future because I feel like when I listen I don't catch like all the details so I definitely want to read this maybe this 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 year again for Christmas 2020 I don't know maybe because it is like Christmas themed. So definitely, definitely recommend this, especially if you wanna get into horror or if you already love horror and you haven't read this, or like I said, if you um, didn't really like Stephen King, but you liked kind of where he was heading with his writing, but it was too slow paced for you, 
you will love this way better because I feel like Joe Hill is more fast paced with his writing and his writing's really really similar to Stephen King. I get why that is because obviously Stephen King probably taught him how to write most of his stuff. Next book that was my favorite of 2019 was Miracle Creek and um, I didn't actually own any physical copies of these books. I just got them on Book Outlet, so I got this one on Book Outlet. Excited to reread it in the future because I definitely want to. I think this was Angie Kim's debut novel, which is really, really impressive because this was a really, really, really good book. If you liked Little Fires Everywhere, you will love this book too. Um, so yeah, don't want to waste your time by like saying how amazing it is and then you... Because a lot of people didn't like this book. And I feel like it's kind of like the same thing where if you like this, you'll like that. And if you didn't like Little Fires Everywhere, then you're probably not going to like this. But if you loved Little Fires Everywhere, definitely pick this up. So this one is about this Korean family that's kind of running this medical treatment that... Um, it's like experimental because some people are taking their kid that has autism there and other people's other people have health problems and stuff uh, infertility problems stuff like that and um they're not sure if it's gonna work you know so the oxygen chamber that they're using to medically treat these people it explodes and kills two people so then obviously the dad has to go stand trial it kind of flashes back and forth between the courtroom and the story like during that time before it exploded when it exploded and afterwards and then the scenes in the courtroom and people like talking about it the witnesses and everything that happened and yeah i really really enjoyed it it's kind of like not really a thriller i guess i feel like half of it takes place in the courtroom and half of it is like the story so I don't know but I really really love this book five stars I can't wait to read it again if you've read any of these books definitely let me know if you haven't let me know if you're interested or if you didn't like them let me know why you didn't like them I always like hearing like other people's opinions I will quickly mention some honorable mentions like they weren't my favorites of all time but they were pretty up there and I will link my November December wrap up because I talk about two of these books on there and the first one is The Perfect Predator a scientist race to save her husband from a deadly superbug and it's about this husband and wife and they go to Egypt and he catches a superbug and they have to try to basically solve the mystery on how to cure him so this one was really good and like I said check out my wrap-up if you want to see more about that and then my other honorable mention is Dr. Sleep really really love this one 4.5 stars and I talked about this in the wrap-up as well this one takes place when Dan is all grown up from The Shining Dan has The Shining which is this power that some people have and he meets this girl named Abra and she has the power too and they kind of have to like fight against the true knot which are these people that like feed off of children that have the shining and they like kind of feed off of that energy so yeah definitely good another honorable mention that I had was Game of Thrones which I will put a picture here you've all probably heard of it but the book was really really good and I definitely want to continue with the series in 2020 so my five worst books um, first one is The Care and Feeding of Ravenous Hungry Girls, and I will put a picture here. I honestly couldn't even tell you, I'm gonna be real with these worst books, like I couldn't even tell you what that book was about anymore because it dragged, like it dragged and dragged and I am just impressed with myself that I even finished it. I gave it two stars and I honestly, it's a blur, okay? The next one is Fun Home. It was a graphic novel about this girl. I think it was like where she's lesbian but her family doesn't know and then she comes out later. If the graphic novel, if they just shortened it to like 50 to 100 pages, I think it would have been much, much, much better. But I guess a lot of people like all these literary references that that book had but I'm like, I feel like that took away from the story. I didn't really like that about the graphic novel. I feel like the literary fiction parts were kind of a waste of time because she, she starts talking, like they talk a lot about all these different books. So I didn't really like that one and I think I also gave it two stars but I was able to finish that one as well. When I say these are the worst books, these are all books that I literally finished and I was like, these are the worst books. So I read all these, I didn't DNF any of these. The next one is The Woman in the Window. 
I chose that book, I think it was, I don't remember when it was, but I chose that book uh, months ago for my in-person book club. Only one person liked the book, okay? Everybody else, I was so surprised, had the same opinion as me and they did not like it. They thought it was a total snooze fest, which I thought too. I saw a lot of people loved it and I didn't really see a lot of people dislike it on booktube. So, I don't know, we, we just had the same reading taste, I guess, for my in-person book club. I don't know, the main character, like, I didn't like her and the book just dragged on and on and on and on and it was super slow. I felt like nothing really happened in that book and I just wasted my time. I have the unpopular opinion, I think, because I've seen a lot of people love it and it's been a lot of people's favorite book or five-star read or something, but for me, it was a two-star read, I think I gave it. Again, very surprised that I even finished that book, but I did finish it. I think what motivated me to finish that book was that it was an in-person book club book and I run the book club so I obviously have to read it I feel like so yeah I'm that was a bad book for me and I I think I will be seeing the movie though and I feel like it's gonna be better the next one is Annihilation I know this one is a hate or love one I've seen people like like it and I've seen people hate it and I'm on the other side because I was reading it and I just was like Oh my gosh, this is, I felt like it dragged too and nothing really happened. I don't know. I kind of want to continue just because I want to find out what happens, but I might just read spoilers for the next two books. I don't know, like just talking about these books are making me like, oh my gosh, almost sleepy because that's what they all made me feel like. That was it. That was the end of the video. Those were my worst reads, but let me know your favorite books of 2019 so I can add it to my TBR. I always like adding new books to my TBR and finding new books. If you agree with me on the best and worst books that I showed you, let me know so we can talk in the comments below. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. It's probably going to be like a 2020, um, what I want to read this year or like a goals maybe like merge together like a my goals for the year when it comes to booktube and reading and books I kind of want to read this year not specifically in January but just that I definitely want to get to this year oh and if you want to see vlogs more often let me know too because I was thinking of doing those like two or three times a month maybe weekly I like making them because they're easy, but I don't know. Let me know. So that's it for this video, and I will see you all in the next video.